bit about you know the courses that I teach at ISB. Uh, uh, so given you know my training and um, my extensive work ex uh, in uh, corporate in the corporate world, right in the business world, uh, I teach uh, two classes. One is uh, the classes related to optimization you know modeling and statistics so i do a lot of courses related to decision models under uncertainty decision models and optimization simulation and risk i have a couple of courses that i've developed at isb which uh, you know i teach in uh, all our programs all our degree equivalent programs so the pgp which is the mba equivalent and then the emba equivalent which is the max program and the pro program uh, which is the weekend in, uh, mba and uh, on the elective side, I have taught courses uh, in supply chain management and uh, revenue management and pricing. So, uh, you know, both of them, again, building on my expertise uh, and the research that I do. Uh, just to, you know, give you a bit about the way I structure these courses. So for uh, the methodological courses, which is the optimization, simulation, you know, statistics courses, which is a lot of, uh, you know, lecturing, I've developed extensive notes uh, you know, based on my own experience and you know the material that is available in the extant literature, and I use a lot of short videos. I use a lot of you know hybrid learning techniques in order to deliver these classes and get students involved in the discussions and uh, by making sure that it is not just learning you know through rote but actually doing hands-on, solving problems you know and understanding how to structure data. Uh, and understand you know how then to make uh, models out of uh, you know real world questions abstraction away from reality and then how to interpret those in order to implement the solutions in the real world so we do a lot of that in these classes and in the supply chain class while it is a lot of case based learning over there i do link it up to real world examples i do get you know guest lecturers to come back and not just to talk about what they're doing but also to link some of their real world experiences to the classroom learning so the frameworks and you know the quanti uh, quantifiable techniques that we learn in the class so that uh, it makes sense to the students uh, what they would expect to see out there in the real world we do a lot of simulations uh, you know we learn through a lot of uh, video lectures uh, you know, so i do bring in you know technology as a component uh, into my classroom so that uh, you know students find it valuable to be in class and the concepts also become fairly clear when they're immersed uh, you know in some of the uh, you know, learning that we have in the classroom uh, in terms of uh, uh, you know what I'm trying to do these days I'm trying to now get into the space of developing uh, you know analytics and operations analytics uh, bringing in some of the OR and statistical techniques that are now becoming, you know, fairly prevalent and what we today call as Industry 4.0 and, you know, AI and machine learning, bringing in some of those, you know, newer concepts into my classroom and linking it up with, you know, how they make, uh, you know, maybe some of the problems that we are facing today more, you know, amenable to solutions or quicker solutions and better solutions. So trying to do some of that which then allows me to also teach in our business analytics program uh, and also uh, you know uh, teach in our uh, FPM program which is the uh, PhD equivalent program so I do have courses uh, you know that I've developed for those two uh, you know streams too uh, over the years.